Hi, so um, I think I'm recording. Um, all right, so I'm going to explain um, a few questions from the um, from uh, prep test 82, logical reasoning. So the first one is question 15. Um, and the question stem um, is uh, which one of the following, if true, most weakens the argument, right? So we know we've got an argument and our goal is to find something that's going to weaken it. Um, so maybe disconnect a premise from the conclusion. Um, so uh, first with any argument, we're gonna try to identify what the conclusion is and what the premises are. And then um, we may want to identify why those premises do not prove the conclusion. So that would be identifying the flaw in the argument um, that can sometimes be helpful. Um, and then we go into the answer choices. Okay, so let's read the premise. A scientific team compared gold samples from several ancient artifacts with gold samples from an ancient mine in Western Asia. Okay, so we're comparing these samples to these samples. Um, the ratios of the trace elements in these samples were all very similar. And they were unlike the trace element ratios from any other known mine. Um, it is therefore likely that the gold in the artifacts was dug from the ancient mine. Okay, interesting. So the samples match up um, and uh, the trace elements match up, uh, they're very similar. Um, and this part is interesting, right? They're unlike the trace element ratios from any other known mine. Um, now it's possible um, that there are other, um, other mines that are unknown that we're not aware of. Um, maybe the gold wasn't mined that's that's also possible. So if you think about like the Alaska gold rush and like panning for gold and stuff like that's uh, different from mining, right? So um, there there's more than one way to actually um, obtain gold. You don't have to know those things, um, but that might be helpful for this question. Um, and really what we wanna do now is we wanna go through the answer choices and try to understand how that information, if it were true, would impact the argument, right? So rather than looking specifically for something that's going to weaken it, we're just asking ourselves, if this information were true, what impact might that have on the, on the argument, right? Is it still likely that the gold in the artifacts was dug from the ancient mine? Or does this potentially present um, an alternative to that theory? Right, so um, in that case, it would actually weaken it. Um, so we're kind of looking to eliminate things that strengthen for sure, but we also want to eliminate things that um, don't have that much of an impact on the argument, right? That are largely irrelevant to the argument. Um, and then after that, we're just trying to figure out which thing weakens the most, right? So if we have multiple answer choices that do weaken the argument, we have to figure out what's the most fatal to the argument. Um, and typically that's going to be something that, um, you know, uh, breaks the chain of reasoning between the premises and the conclusion. Um, and the chain of reasoning here um, is that they've eliminated the possibility that the gold is from any other known mine, um, but does that mean that the gold uh, was dug from this um, particular ancient mine, or is there some other way that they could have um, obtained that gold? Excuse the yawn. <laughs> um, okay, so um, answer choice A, the ancient mine tapped into a large underground deposit that also supplied nearby riverbeds with significant quantities of gold. So um, this ancient mine tapped into a large underground deposit. So that deposit would have the same ratios of trace elements, right? Um, Cause that's where the gold is coming from. And that um, deposit also supplied riverbeds. Um, so here's where that kind of, you know, Alaska gold rush thing 
um, and the idea of like panning for gold in um, a riverbed that that comes into play and um, occasionally actually having some outside knowledge does help a little bit. So um, even if you don't have that outside knowledge, if you look at this, you can imagine, oh, there are actually ways to get gold that don't require mining. So we've eliminated the possibility that it's from like a known mine, some other known mine, but that premise doesn't eliminate the possibility that um, it's from the riverbeds. Um, and we would know that it would be the same kind of gold, right? That it would, the ratios of trace elements would match because it's the same deposit that the ancient mine was tapping into. So A looks really promising, but we'll go through the rest of the answer choices. B, the ancient mine may have at one time been operated by the same civilization that was responsible for most of the ancient artifacts. So, um, I mean, this actually strengthens the argument. So um, it tells us that it's possible that this ancient mine um, was once upon a time operated by people who created the ancient artifacts and were trying to connect the ancient mine with the ancient artifacts saying it's likely that the gold in the artifacts came from that mine. So this actually um, kind of increases that likelihood, right? Um, and if B were false, it would um, that would be a problem, right? So if if the ancient mine had never been operated by the civilization that made the artifacts, then we might question whether the artifacts actually came from gold or the gold in the artifacts actually came from that mine. Um, okay, C. Um, the ancient mine was first operated many centuries before the artifacts were constructed. Um, so this is just like a timeline sort of thing, right? So um, it doesn't really matter. So it's possible that the ancient mine was in operation for many centuries, or maybe um, you know they stopped using it for a while and then came back to it, or another civilization um, came back to it. Uh, but the amount of time that's passed between when it first started operating and when the artifacts were constructed isn't really relevant. Also, it's possible that the gold was mined and then kept in some form for um, generations and generations, and then the artifacts were constructed from the gold that had been taken from the mine originally. So um, there are lots of ways that we can understand um, the timeline being kind of lengthened between the mine first being operated and the artifacts being made um, that doesn't change the likelihood that the gold in the artifacts came from that mine. Okay, uh, D, ancient gold artifacts were often constructed from gold taken from earlier artifacts. Um, so this uh, could kind of fit with C in that we could have this turnover where the gold still stays the same. Um, but ultimately that gold had to come from somewhere in nature, right? So even if um, it passed through multiple different artifacts before it showed up in these ones, um, that doesn't change the fact that that gold has ratios of trace elements that um, only match this mine, right? Um, so a is the only one that really deals with why would the ratios of those trace elements match? And yet it's not necessarily that the gold was dug from the mine. Um, so yeah, D doesn't actually help to explain that there's some other possibility. E, uh, much of the gold dug from the ancient mine in Western Asia was transported to faraway destinations. Um, yeah, so we don't actually know where these ancient artifacts showed up. Um, so, and also the word much is kind of interesting here. So much of the gold was transported far away, um, but much doesn't mean all of it, certainly. Um, and it doesn't even mean a majority of the gold. Um, it just means a large portion of the gold. So um, that's you know, relative terms, right? So we don't know how much gold there was total. We don't know what counts as a large amount of gold. 
Um, and so even if these artifacts were found in Western Asia, um, and we had to kind of say that the gold that the artifacts came from stayed in Western Asia, you know, that there was this um, kind of uh, line um, or like connection in, um, in terms of the location of the gold, this wouldn't even weaken that connection because of the word much here. Um, so it could still be a large portion that's less than half um, and wouldn't actually impact the likelihood um, that the gold in the artifacts was dug from the ancient mine. Um, so A deals with how we got the gold. Was it dug from an ancient mine or was it potentially just panned um, from riverbeds? Um, the other thing that's interesting is it says that they su it supplied nearby riverbeds with significant quantities of gold. Um, so yeah, enough gold that you could make something out of it. All right, so that's um, question 15. And I don't know if you can hear that bird crying, but um, I'm going to go uh, hang out with him for a bit because he's lonely. So um, I'll post this and hopefully this is the right section. Um, so this was requested. Um, if this is not the right section, if you want me to look at section three instead, please let me know. Um, but if this is the right section, I will go ahead and make videos for question 17 and 19 um, later tonight. All right, have a good one.